we've almost created in some ways the notion of a huge tree uh, in the city where animals could thrive on the uh, canopy. Uh, the Old Asia Downtown Hotel is a device in the city that, that's re that really supports a thriving ecosystem uh, three-dimensionally in a very dense environment. I think it's actually the biggest and the tallest uh, trellis structure in the world. And, and one of my favourite views of the building is coming up very close to it and standing on the corner and looking up. And you can see lots of creepers growing on it. It's so different as compared to buildings around it where you just see all glass and steel. And it's something that this building just makes you feel good about it. This hotel is a living, breathing building. But there's 22 different types of creepers here and they're starting to take over the building. So what we're tending to find uh, is the building is starting to change in appearance. And I think having uh, the trees, the gardens, the lush sky terraces and the creepers all add to that feeling of, of well-being. And I guess working here, I'm lucky enough to feel that as well. Well, I think this is an ongoing exploration into tropical buildings uh, in the local climatic conditions. Here, we, what we did was we created, we duplicated the ground plane four times up the building. So these are open decks with the footprint exactly the same as the ground plane. Uh, we use them as sky terraces with swimming pools with sky gardens. So all in, we managed to achieve 25 1,000 square meters worth of greenery and it all adds up to 1,100% of uh, the site area. So on a macro level, what we did was, we wanted to reintroduce greenery back into the cityscape. We wanted to envision a new skyscraper prototype, a new image for it. What it should be, it should be one that has got lots of shade, also lots of internal spaces within it that people can enjoy, that indirectly also support places for animals and for insects to thrive in. And because of the density in this area, we felt it was necessary for it to be a very friendly building to the neighbours. For cities to be more sustainable, they should be more compact. We should be thinking of how we could actually increase density, but at the same time provide sufficient uh, amenities uh, to make those cities still uh, livable. And I think that has always been one of the uh, things that we are very interested in our practice, to see how we can actually create um, higher densities in cities and yet create very livable environments within it.